He could probably reach you wherever he's at. Wow. Like, right now. <laughs> wow. All Can right. you picture having a lightsaber battle with that dude? Okay, well, I'm going to start recording now. <laughs> so just keep going. <laughs> your Swartz is not bigger than mine. Oh, my God, your Swartz is bigger than mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you want, Chris, do you want to do an intro for After Hours? or? I've got an intro for After Hours. Then let's hear it. Oh, you're talking about like a like a hey, welcome yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I've, I've I've got it. It's a recording right now, so anytime you're ready, if you want to throw it in, go for it. We'll start. So, yeah, oh. right now it's just kind of working out because fuck y'all. Uh, okay, fuck yeah. Fuck you. Hey, bitch boys, welcome to After Hours. I'm Chris Stolly. That's Christina Talley. That's Brian Miller. We all work for Realm of the Mist or some shit like that. Something. We were gonna do a Breaking the Fourth Wall show. We were gonna do a Journal of the Jedi show. Uh, but we all decided to take a break and said, fuck it, we're just going to talk and bullshit. So welcome to After Hours and yeah. Realm of the Myth. Woo. Actually, it's our first real episode, isn't it? It's what? Is it one of like our? Is it like our first real episode? Technically, it's our second real episode because the original concept of After Hours was uh, a blooper reel. We would just take edits and cuts of uh, where we screwed up in, in the normal podcasts or, or little jokes or humor that we had in the normal podcast. Or Matt and, absolutely losing his shit. Which or was... Matt absolutely losing his shit. And yeah. we would just record it, put, put, put it all together in a little mashup and put it out for the people. This one is going to be more about us just sitting around and doing what we normally do, which is geek out and bullshit and... and not really have a plan or a, a, an agenda on what we discuss. We just discuss what we discuss. Which actually uh, happens more often than recording. Yeah, <laughs> I, usually, yeah. let me understand, let me explain something, because I don't come on these shows a lot anymore. If we're going to record an hour show, I got I to gotta budget three hours. Because two hours of it is literally, but you know, hour <laughs> and a half is bullshitting, and half an hour is people disappearing, doing other things, and probably five minutes of Eric sitting on the toilet taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not fair to on pick camera. on camera. You know, it's not fair to pick on Eric when I'm he's not, not here. On him. However, if I could find uh, a clip and, and cut out a clip of him sitting on a toilet during a podcast, I will slip it in right here. Yes. So just fair warning if you, if you see a little uh, view screen pop up with just a look of a ceiling. That's probably the video I found of Eric taking a shit and he just sent his phone down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but we love you, Eric. That's that's why I kind of right. like doing breaking the fourth wall over the phone. <laughs> that's exactly why I like doing breaking the fourth wall over the phone. You know what I'm talking about. Well, you know, I, I, I do miss doing the actual visual breaking the fourth wall, but uh, the phone one is just so much easier, both for Radiocast FM and the fact that, you know, a lot of the people, the panelists that are on Breaking the Fourth Wall now are old motherfuckers who don't know what Skype is. And sometimes you just really need sorry, to take Dan. a shit while you're recording. <laughs> sorry, Dan. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, and I will have to say this. When I start, when I first started with Breaking the Fourth Wall, I was on last season, in case y'all didn't know. When I, when I started with Breaking the Fourth Wall, that's exactly what it was. And it was like, Honestly, I, I actually played back one like the first episode from the like that season. God, it sounded horrible. Was like like what? what the season of uh, the audio recordings or the season? Yeah, of our first season, I was on the first show I was ever on them before we started. Before I started working out the re better recording systems, I was like, God, this sounds fucking horrible. Like, it seriously sounds like he had a tape recorder like shoved up to the microphone. That's how we record or to the speaker. And that's how I recorded it. Um, I did have a tape recorder shoved up the speaker and they recorded it that way. <laughs> is, that what, is that what they're calling it nowadays? Yeah. Hey, that's, when what, I, that's what the kids are calling it today. When I started, I the have a magic eight ball. When I started the Canon Library, it was just shot on this cell phone right here. I mean, that's that's what it was on, and we just clipped the cell phone to a music stand with a capo, I mean, a guitar capo, and just went with it. And that's what the Canon Library started off as before. We, you know, I got all the extra equipment and everything, but. Uh, sometimes um, you gotta go low tech. Actually, funny thing is, when we recorded the uh, the live when we did the live show of breaking the fourth wall, Chris remembers this mess. So we were supposed to have somebody there. We're supposed to bring all kinds of tech, all kinds of shit. So we had this really nice professional setup. Guy never showed up. Fortunately, we filmed half of it on my. I had a Canon T3 with me because I needed to take headshots for the website. 
And there was something else they needed headshots for, too. So we needed to take headshots to everyone. I figured that was a good time to do it. So fortunately, we recorded 25 minutes of it, which my memory card ran out, and figured out the camera wasn't even properly focused at the time. And then the rest <laughs> of it was my iPhone. I took the camera stand. I took the boom arm for the camera stand, you know, the, the twist thing to move it up and down. Kind of pushed it down over the screen so it wouldn't fall. Took a battery pack, plugged the battery pack, and stuck it in between the frame. And that's how we recorded the rest of the show. That's sometimes. And then we over edited. Like and then we took the master file off of RadioCast feed, which they gave us, and overdubbed everything. Like, that was a <laughs> fucking nightmare, actually. You know how hard it is to sync that shit up? Oh, you have like, no, I don't like think that, people I do that appreciate every, it. I do that every one of my videos. Because my webcam, the audio sucks on it, so I record with this with Audacity, and then do all my audio effects to it in Audacity, and then pull it into HitFilm, delete the audio from my video, and then put my audio file in, and sit there and like do it frame by frame until I've got it perfect, and then and then launch it that way. Like I know exactly what you're talking about. It is and a it's pain like in people the day. don't appreciate. I don't think people appreciate editing and how much a pain in the ass it is. Like. Seriously, it's a, it's a labor of love. I'm, I'm, I'm it is, but it I'm is. just saying, like, when you have to, when you have a separate audio file and you have a video file, now you got to sync that shit up. You sit there for hours and moving it this much, mm -hmm. and then you're watching, okay, that looks damn it, no, it's still off, and then you fuck it up all together and you got to start all over again. And by the time you're doing it, you're just almost about ready to say, fuck it, I'm deleting it, I don't care. I mean, that's, but the end result's always worth it. Or you're in my case where. I'm in the middle of editing a video and it's going so well, and then my hit film crashes on me, and I just want to, you know, <laughs> take it through. I don't have that my issue with my hit film. I've only ever had it like once or twice, but it. I had it on the older version. The older version I've had it happen. The newer version I have not had an issue with 2017. Mm -hmm. I think I've got uh, the 17 Pro now. I still remember. I still remember Chris. But the first time he started editing on his new computer, he goes, "Oh yeah, I'm editing an hour video. How long? How long till you're done uh, <laughs> compiling it? Two days. Yeah, two, two days, days later for on a half an hour video. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Try uploading your entire gameplay of the Battlefront Two campaign. Chris knows that one. Why didn't you? Why didn't yeah. you break it up? Because I did it in one sitting, Christina, and I had to do it as one massive upload. I just wanted to. I wanted to do it in one sitting and just upload it. And how long and how long did that take? It took a day to export, and then it took <laughs> three days to upload, and then a day to process. So it was like a and four then day computer day. screen. And then it finally went live and I got like sixteen views on it. <laughs> like that was it. But it was totally worth it. And meanwhile, your computer's going, kill me! Yeah. <laughs> it really, it really did. But no, Chris's, Chris's upload, that, that was, that was some funny shit. I'm not gonna lie, that was funny <laughs> as hell. I remember him coming home Because he was so excited, on. like, I'm uploading a video! And we're like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. You're mean. But no, the funny part about it is he gets home. He gets on Messenger, on the video Messenger, because it was easier for us to talk because I was home that day. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go check my fuck. What? It's not done yet. I'm like, how long has it been going since? Yesterday. <laughs> I don't even remember what video it that still was. Take, which... It still takes about five hours for an hour video. I ain't going to lie. Wow, it takes me about an hour for an hour video. See... Now that we moved, our internet's not nearly as fast. I'm actually surprised I'm able to Skype two of you guys at once, to be completely honest. But I, I uploaded my mailbag last night at like 11-ish is when I started it, and it didn't get done until like 10 o'clock this morning. I finally got the notification on my phone that it had finally uploaded and was ready to be viewed. See, that's the funny part. Like, everyone remembers where I lived in Fountain, how shit-tastic the internet was there. Mm-hmm. Like, I seriously, like, if you ever heard of speed test, it's a web, it's a free online website where you can test your internet speed. Oh, yeah, I use that. And I hit, like, I think it was 20, 22, I believe it was, 20 down, 2 up. Oh, speaking of guys, which uh, is not to interrupt like, real quick. You are not interrupting. Interrupt real quick. Uh, you go are to, fucking interrupting. Just real quick, go, go to your Facebook accounts while you're talking. That's all. Oh, it was a fucking pizza. 
Anyway, but when I got here, I'm actually <laughs> at like 60 fucking, I'm at 60-12 now, which is a hell of a different. <laughs> wait, 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 did Chris actually do this fucking petition? <laughs> yes, did this actually did. just happen? You are yes. a fucking animal. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> nice picture. Pineapple does the, not fucking belong on pizza, is it asshole. Now? <laughs> what do you want on your tombstone? <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like a DiGiorno. The only fruit that belongs on pizza is tomato sauce. Should I read the description? <laughs> You're a fucking animal. There are many different toppings that people enjoy upon their pizzas. Pepperoni, olives, onions, and much more. However, in recent days, one particular topping is a seed that's in recent days, like recent years. Whatever. I was trying to sound One particular topping has received a ton of unfair hate. Pineapples. Made famous on a type of pizza known as Hawaiian pizza, but today, a lot of people hated the idea of having and have been vocal about their disdain for it. This petition has let them know they are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny fucked up, the fucked up part is, as I'm reading, I just got a pop up. Sign the petition. Chris is counting on you. <laughs> oh yeah. Without Save Chris, nobody will ever like pineapple on pizza again. <laughs> you are such a social justice warrior. I'm not even fucking playing. You so are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, <laughs> since you agree with me or you're wrong, okay? Oh my God, you're one of those. <laughs> hey, since we're since we're talking about petitions, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this other go one for, for a minute. Well, um, well, like, hold on, hold on a second. Let let Christina finish her oh, talk. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, go he ahead. interrupted her twice for this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're good. I'm okay. just replying. I'm just replying to your thing as I'm signing. I just put hashtag pineapple pizza matters. <laughs> Uh, guys, go to change.org. Help us save the pineapple pizza. <laughs> well, yeah, I was like, you know something I'm going to put? Oh, why not? Pineapple pizza matters. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Brian is wrong. Pizza matters. <laughs> you guys can't see my face right now. I don't know if I want to see your face. Right now. <laughs> Nobody we'll wants to see video. my face. Uh, all right, so... Hey, you're talking to someone whose last fucking podcast got four fucking views, okay? I was one of them. Hey, I, you know what? That's I think I was the other people. three. I think I was the other three. Hey, last break in the fourth wall got seven. Woo! I think I was six of them. However, my episode before <laughs> that got like my episode before that got like is actually done pretty decent. So I think it, my, it I think my last mailbag got like 189. Well, I noticed on the gameplays, I don't get as much. Even yeah. though you have to admit, me having getting the shit scared out of me on that fucking podcast was pretty funny. Well, the funny the funny thing is you mentioned you mentioned the video games, and we'll we'll get to Brian's petition here in a minute. You mentioned video games. We do have a sub channel called Press A Gaming, who has six subscribers. I don't get how we're not getting anybody interested in, in that channel at all. Because 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 if I because no one likes you, Chris. Probably, but <laughs> but no. If, if I put the gameplays on Realm of the Mist Entertainment. It gets more views than it does on Press A Gaming. You know what that, you know why, you know what that, you know what that means? Put them on Realm of the Mist. <laughs> I've been thinking about no, it. You know why. Press a and just put it there. You mm. know why, right? You know how many fucking gameplays there are out there? Oh my god, so many. Oh, I know. There's so many goddamn gameplays. Any game you can think of, some jackass has already gone through it like fucking 60 times. <laughs> well, the one thing I've learned with the game series that I'm running through Look right now. Look at me, I'm so cool. We're playing... Uh, we're, we're, we're playing Hello Kitty's Island Adventure. It's so fucking rad. Like, oh my god, like, I'm gonna put this thing right here and do this, and oh my god. Well, oh my god! The one thing I, the one thing I learned in the gaming community, uh, online gaming community, and uh, three view- I've learned three viewers. I, uh, from our, from, from the series that I'm running now on Press A Gaming, I've learned that unless you're playing a game that has exactly come out, like, today... No one or you're playing a retro game from back in the day. Mm-hmm. I'm getting more views for Final Fantasy 1 than I ever got for Fallout 4. Even Call of Duty World War 2, you know. Um, it's the nostalgia factor. It's the nostalgia factor. People yeah. are getting a kick out of seeing me play a game that hasn't been played for over 20 years or yeah, whatever. Well, you saw the Kaizo video I posted last year. That one blew up. 
yeah. where I played Cat Mario. That one, I think, was at like 50 or 60 views last time I saw it on my channel. I don't hey, know what it's at on the other one. You know what I bet would have really blown up? Uh, that Batman Arkham gameplay. I bet it would, too. I'm still waiting for it. Wasn't that recorded like a year ago? Uh, no, it wasn't that long. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long. Yeah, but, uh, actually, it was, or it was last year you recorded Well, just because it was summer. last year doesn't mean it was a year ago. In the summer. Is it summer? Yeah, it's still winter. That's half a year ago. Uh, oh, that's that's much fucking better. It's still six months. <laughs> it's still much better, right? Six months is I better. I still got than it. Look, I was go- I was sitting down and playing through it, and I look. You ever been playing a game, and no. it glitch it? Fuck off! And <laughs> like, and you <laughs> you hit a glitch, and it pisses you off because you're on such a roll, and you just throw your controller down. And you're like, I don't like this game anyway. And you get up and walk away from it. That's what happened with Arkham City or Arkham Asylum. I'm not kidding. That's exactly what happened. I was so close to the end, and like just the tip of my fucking toe touched a wall just right, and I couldn't move. He did this thing like he looked like he was falling with his feet kind of in his flying pose, and then just it froze there. I couldn't move. People were shooting at me and not killing me. Like it was just, and I was just like, fuck it. I'm I'm, Batman. I'm so burnt out. And since then, I have played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations. Hang on. Uh, what else was there? Revelations uh, 3, Liberation 4, Rogue, and now I'm on Unity. And I'm on this like road to Origins. Like I cannot wait to play Assassin's Creed Origins. But I- I've been 100%ing all these fucking games leading up to it. Well, you want to impress somebody? You want to impress somebody? I give a challenge to you guys. Download a original Nintendo Entertainment System emulator because I use a uh, JNES and I also use Visual Boy for Game Boy Advance. That's how I'm playing the original Final Fantasy, but it's the Game Boy Advance version. Um, the reason I state that is here's my challenge. Right now, one of the hottest games that's being played online for people to watch is the Friday the Thirteenth MMO, where oh, you yeah. you either survive or you're Jason. And yeah. I just that's had not to- really an MMO though. It is, because it's an online multiplay. You, It's random on who gets to be Jason, but Jason goes around and kills all the other players who are trying to escape Jason. Dude, I've seen that at Walmart. I really want to get it. It's Yeah, but that's more of like... <laughs> that's no more of an MMO than like Destiny is an MMO. Like, an MMO is a massively... is a massive online player. It's like, um, what the hell is that game? Prey. Where one person gets to be the monster and six people battle it. It's more like a battle royale. It's not an actual MMO. Well, either way, here's the challenge. Get the original Enter- Nintendo Entertainment System emulator, because I doubt any, many of us have the uh, ability to be able to, to Twitch or Skype, or not Skype, but uh, Twitch or record from an, an actual NES. And let's start doing a series of the impossible to beat games. And the first challenge I give you guys is Friday the 13th for the original Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> so apparently, just because they sidetrack us game. a little bit, to sidetrack <laughs> us a little bit, Chris, I know you're tight on money. I don't know how you're doing on money, but apparently you can donate a testicle and receive $35,000. Fuck it, I don't need them anymore. I don't need but one. <laughs> I mean... I don't I don't even need one. You can have both of mine, man. Double your chances. Shit, I'll just, I'll just give you two <laughs> of mine. Grand, and, I'll just it? give you two of mine and keep the other one for myself. Shit. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, what? I only need one. Shit, I can get about, about two thirds of them. Shit. How many fucking testicles do you have? How many am I supposed to have? Brian is not three. Jedi. <laughs> three not three's fucking... not normal? No. Two is normal. <laughs> when did that when did that become a thing? <laughs> Brian, like always seek out. Ryan is a sea cow on Last Jedi. I just see Luke Skywalker milking him right now. <laughs> I don't chicken wow wow. Got the porn stash going. <laughs> you notice that thing did have a porn stash. <laughs> well, it had a nose that looked like something a little unmentionable. <laughs> oh wait, it had four tits. Hey, it, but got, but the, 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 the nose was unmentionable. I got a question. <laughs> can, can I talk about my petition now? Yes, he can. Okay, I just thought I'd ask. Um, so, like, all Star Wars fans, right? You guys know that somebody started this petition to strike Episode Eight from uh, canon because they hated it so goddamn much. 
so I started a petition today on change.org. Uh, you're welcome, Chris, for the idea for the pineapple pizza thing. Uh, and you guys <laughs> the only to, reason I did you guys it is need you said to go I didn't find have the balls to do it. Uh, <laughs> I've, uh, I've got it right now on the Star Wars Canon Library Facebook page. Uh, go sign it. And all it is is simply to show the world that we are not all crybaby, whiny, millennial pieces of crap. That's that's all it is. Like not not all of us are bitching and moaning because a movie didn't turn out the way we fucking wanted it to. So uh, just go check that out and give it a sign, just so that people realize we're not all children. Actually, yeah. <laughs> can I say something real quick about the whole thing? About that whole thing? Yeah. Just a fun fact for you all out there. It's just something to think about next time you want to bitch about how a director went with a movie, especially someone on the Star Wars saga. I know between Episode 7 and Episode 8, everyone had their own, like, ooh, it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. Like, you know, and it turned out none of that was the case. And everyone, that's why a lot of people are pissed off. We already know this. However, if they made the movie and everything that you predicted would be fucking... you bitch about it anyway, so do me a favor, shut the fuck up. Actually, you want to know something? If if everything everybody wanted in Last Jedi actually was in Last Jedi, it wouldn't be a trilogy, it'd be a duology. Because everything big that we are kind of expecting now a little bit in Episode 9 would, would have, have happened in 8. 8, and we wouldn't have anything to look forward to now. It'd be a duology. This is true. It would just... It would just I mean... Trust me, these guys get paid fucking massive amounts of money to make these movies for a reason. Okay? If you didn't like it, then fuck it. Say, okay, I didn't like it. Move on with your fucking life. Don't buy the goddamn Blu-ray. Yeah. Go out. Go fucking buy yourself the Star Trek movie instead because you're fucking... You're a goddamn Spock-loving oh, okay, cocksucker. Wait, 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 wait. That's that, no, no, no. That's too far. That's too too far. Kirk loving Spock sucks. No, 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 too far, too far. Look, you, I'm not going to... Because we have a show on Realm of the Mist that is Talking Trek, I'm not going to pick on... Star Trek, even though Star Trek Discovery absolutely fucking deserves it. Um, <laughs> absolutely fucking. I'm sorry. The Orville is more Star Trek than Star Trek, okay? Oh! Um, and, and, and I don't God even loves, like the Orville. God love Seth MacFarlane, man. Thank you very much for giving me a Star Trek when Star Trek isn't Star Trek anymore. But when it comes to The Last Jedi, the problem isn't the fact that people don't like the movie. It's the fact that because you don't like the movie, you think your mama, your mama and your daddy didn't tell you your voice don't fucking matter, dude. You don't matter. You don't yep. fucking matter to shit. I just made a petition <laughs> for fucking pineapple pizza. You think your voice is going to change this thing while they're counting their hey. billions of fucking dollars? How, how, are I can just how many, so how many signatures you got? The Oscars, how many the signatures Oscar you got? Nomination? I got three right now. Yeah, oh, fuck, you might be doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> See? Actually, I think you have four because I signed both the all petitions. I hit five. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> but, you know, I just made a petition about pineapple pizza for two reasons. One, Brian said I didn't have the balls to do it, so I did it. <laughs> two, it was kind of to prove a point with this. You can make a petition about anything. It changes nothing. Yep. doesn't matter how many people sign this. It doesn't mean that people who hate pineapple on pizza are going to start putting pineapple on pizza. Yep. People who signed that petition to remove episode 8 from canon, Disney don't give two fucks what you think. Don't buy their product. There's yep. millions of other people, like myself, who will. Yep. Very true. They don't care about They don't care that you didn't, you, your, your little fan theories didn't come true. Yep. You know, there was plenty of things in The Last Jedi that I didn't particularly care for, but I overall enjoyed the movie. And it's not because I'm some Star Wars fanboy, although I am a Star Wars fanboy. I don't see what's so wrong about being a Star Wars fanboy. If I wasn't a Star Wars fanboy, I wouldn't watch Star Wars. Do you have your Star Wars under ruse? I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a snowflake ones right now. <laughs> I did just do a petition, so you know I'm a snowflake. Snowflake, <laughs> so. you say, huh? Snowflake, yes. I'm not even getting into that. This is supposed to be fun. It is fun. Oh, it's so <laughs> I'm picking fun. On my, I'm picking on myself. It's fun. But uh, why, no. why, why pick on yourself when you have us here to do it for you? Because look, sometimes you just can't take I, yourself. I seriously. will never ask others to uh, to do something that I am not willing to do myself. Yep, true. <laughs> sometimes you just can't take yourself seriously. I never take myself seriously. Like never. Like ever. 
not even which on, kinda, off camera. Which kind of ties into what we're saying here is uh, the problem is is all these guys, all these people that are fucking petitioning against Star Wars or whatever else. Dude, you're, you're taking your fandom way too seriously. It, 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 and the end of the day, no matter how much all of us love or or hate what has happened in the Star Wars universe, it's just a movie. It's just a movie. Yep. You either enjoy it or you don't. But why why the hate towards fan bases and the split between the fan bases over a movie? I don't know if you Look, can if really you don't like Star Wars, go split. It's... Well, I'm being I'm being generous in my statement here. If you don't like Star Wars: The Last Jedi, that's fine. Go to your uh, neighborhood red box or or go on Netflix and watch fucking Twilight because you're a whiny piece of shit pussy. But no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I, I'm sorry. We're we're picking on people for, for for fucking throwing shade at people who like Last Jedi. Yeah, and you also I hate to say it as fucked as this is to say. <laughs> You, know, you may want to insult fucking Twilight because it is a god awful movie. Unfortunately, I've never actually made it past five minutes of the fucking thing. Unlike some people I know in this in this chat who have seen, watched the whole fucking movie. Look, okay, the only reason that I watched the whole <laughs> fucking movie, I was actually was not be- pointing at you, but oh. okay, because you were Team Jacob. I know. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, can, can we edit that out? No. I, no. Okay. I look, the only reason, the only fucking reason I watched that whole fucking movie, right? I was dating this girl when it came out. Not Kirsty. This is a different girl. She who shall not be named. Um, and Heather? I, no, I'm not saying her <laughs> name. To say the name is taboo. She gets more powerful when you say her name. So Voldemort. What, what happened was my girlfriend. I guess you have a thing for girls with no noses. Oh Jesus Christ! I, now that you say that, <laughs> well, I think to get she away. Did. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so. She was like, hey, do you want to go see a movie tonight? And I was like, yeah, what do you want to go see? And she's like, well, there's this new movie called Twilight Out. And I'm like, oh, cool. What's that about? And she goes, Vampires and Werewolves. And I'm like, sold. Yeah, let's go see it. So we go to the movie theater, right? And we're in line to see this movie. And it's out the fucking door. Oh, oh, she was a sneaky little bitch. And uh, we're standing there. And all the girls are all excited and everything. And all the guys look like somebody wants to – like they want somebody to put a 9 mil to their fucking head and just let it rip. And – I'm like, why does everybody look so pissed off? And one of the guys standing next to me is like, you don't know? Oh, you're in for a ride. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? This is vampires and werewolves. Why aren't these guys fucking excited? So we get into the cinema and we sit down. And I'm watching like the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then, and then as it went further and further, I'm like, Seriously, what the fuck is this? And then, like, this girl in front of me turned around, and if she'd have been Kryptonian, she'd have burned a hole through me with this death glare she sent me. And she was like, shut up! I'm like, oh, okay, fine, fuck. So you get to the end of the movie when they're dancing, and he's like, it looks like he's gonna bite her, and I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on, bite her, bite her! You gotta fucking bite her! And he doesn't bite her, I'm like, oh, well, that whole fucking movie was worthless. And this girl stands up, the same one stands up, and she goes, that's not how it happened in the books. And I'm like, books like plural like there's more than one like, what the <laughs> fuck? and then we walk out and i'm like why the fuck did you take me to that that was like two hours of my life i'll never fucking get back so a year and a half later a year and a half later we're still together same girl and she's in college at this point and i'm hanging out at her dorm room and she's like hey you want to go see a movie with me and her and her roommates and i was like yeah sure let's go see a movie so they're like i'm like what are we gonna go see she's like it's called new moon and I'm like, well, what is that about? And she goes, it's vampires. Oh, and I'm like, oh, you again. fucking cool. All right, I'll go watch a vampire movie. And as soon as the first <laughs> fucking frame popped up, I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, twice? <laughs> Are you, you fucking serious? So I actually went online and looked up what all the fucking books were, so I knew the titles. And then she tried to get me to go see whatever the fuck next, what, like Eclipse or some shit like that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not fucking going. So and yeah, thus I got, ended the relationship. <laughs> I, I, actually, we actually did break up over Harry Potter. Wait, what? We broke up uh, over Harry Potter. She broke up with me because I was in the military at the time. And okay. I was coming home on leave before my deployment. And she wanted to go see, uh, I think it was Deathly Hollows, either part one or I think it was part two. On did she spoil night. it? No, 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 no. Uh, she wanted to go see it that night. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool. We'll go. And she's like, you promise? I'm like, yeah, I promise. I'll go see the movie with you. 
So then my sister calls me like the day before I am leaving to come home and she's like, hey, I got tickets for us to go to Cedar Point, which is this amusement park up on Lake Erie. And they were for that day and they were only for that day. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, we'll do that because I don't want those tickets to go away. So we can go see the movie some other time. So I call my girlfriend at the time and I'm like, hey, we need to push the movie back a day. And she's like, why the fuck would you do that? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, you promised opening night. And I'm like, what? No, I, it's a movie. What the fuck? Like, like, what the shit are you turning into? And I was in Texas at the time. And then she's like, fuck it. And she hangs up and I never heard from her again. Right. Yo, did she ask you for three fifty? No, 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 no. But it gets worse. So. I come home on leave, and then I find out she's dating my best friend like a week after we broke up. I shit you not. She was a she fucking have, piece of work. She was – that was – She might know. have been dating your best friend before you guys broke oh, up. She was I don't, dating, she was I don't definitely know dating what before. the fuck was wrong with this girl. And I, we, me and Kirsty both refer to her as she who shall not be named. We Although, to be fair, if it, if it was a Star Wars movie and you fucking stood me up on opening night, I'd be fucking dumping your ass too. Chris. When the fuck would I miss Star Wars on an opening night? <laughs> but it's just a movie. The only fucking way I'm missing Star Wars on an opening night is if I'm fucking dead. Like, that is the only goddamn way I'm missing. Even night. then, don't worry. Even then, we would roll your casket into the fence. You better be taking a goddamn Ouija board my... to the theater. I was about to say, you better dig my fucking No, we're, at we the would go. We would bring. Over. No, Christmas lights. We would set up the uh, same kind of setup as uh, Needful Things. <laughs> <laughs> on Stranger Things? Yeah. Which Stranger, fucking, yes. weekend, Stranger Things? Weekend at Bernie's my ass to the theater, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. As long as you get Frank... I'm Actually, still, no. Hey, hey, with as as you, you, Chris, get, I'd be at you get... your eulogy. It says, and the day before Star Wars came out, Chris passed away. It was very tragic. So, what he doesn't know about the movie is as follows. Oh, you would spoil it for me at my own funeral? Fuck Dude, yeah. You're an hey, asshole. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm I, a bitch. Get it correct. I don't care if I'm a puppet at... The, as long as you got Frank Oz's hand up my ass, I'm happy. Like I don't give a shit. That's you want somebody's so hand up your much ass about you. <laughs> if I'm dead, I don't fucking care. I'm watching Star Wars. <laughs> that statement. I, I'm sending this video to Mike Quinn now, just for that one statement. In yes. fact, I'm going to edit that. Yes. And send it to yes. Mike. Do that. Do that. <laughs> He'll probably get a kick out of that. For, the, for then, those of you that don't know, I, I, Mike oh, Quinn so is actually want, kind of a friend of ours. Do what? And then Frank Oz will show up at your house one day. So I heard you want your hand, my hand up your ass. We can make it happen. <laughs> mm, puppet, you want to be? Mm? <laughs> yeah, that I can see. I can see. I can see Frank Oz showing up to Lucasfilm for episode nine. Hey guys, <laughs> I came up with an idea. Puppet I... Anakin. He just holds up Brian. <laughs> that guy doesn't look anything like Anakin. <laughs> Why are his eyes all glazed over? <laughs> he's one with the force and he's very very happy <laughs> he feels oh, deep inside him Jesus. the prostate it hurts ooh right there <laughs> he feels the force and he's extremely extremely happy quit wiggling your fingers <laughs> if a you're little happy to the left it, if you're happy and you know it clap your hands <laughs> how did we go from talking about pineapple and pizza to Frank Oz's hand up my ass. This is what happens. I mean, both <laughs> both taste the same. Every but what I'm saying oh. is, <laughs> how the fuck would you know what fucking what would? How would you know what Frank Oz's hand up your ass? I don't know. Like? I don't know what pineapple and pizza tastes like either. So how can you make that comparison? Because, exactly. because have you ever I eaten squid? It. Yes. I fucking hate squid. Have you ever eaten squid? Yes. Yeah. Oh well, fuck. That kind of throws my argument out the fucking window. <laughs> Have you ever eaten Rocky Mountain oysters? No, I. Uh, Neither have I. I, just, I know what they are. I know what they are exactly, and that's <laughs> that why I can't. That is snot in a shell. I'm not doing it. That is well, not Rocky snot Mountain. In a shell. No, it's not. It's not. Why don't you look? Why don't you go on Google right now and look up Rocky Mountain oysters? Actually, I, yes. Since you don't, since I you don't would, exactly know. But if what I is, click anything on my computer right now, y'all screens are gonna get. I tell you what. Up. I will. I will pull up the exact. I will do it. Yeah, Chris, do it. Chris, cause, Chris cause I will reaction. look it up afterwards, but edit it into the video here so other people know what a Rocky Mountain Oyster looks like. No, 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 no. no. He, she's going to look it up. She's going to look it up, and she'll read it to you, <sighs> and everybody will get a live reaction of your face except for us because we can't see you. Well, you'll see it when you edit the video. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. Okay, so we're going snotty. to Wikipedia for this one. Snotty, snotty. Rocky Mountain oysters, also known as prairie oysters in Canada. Also, calf fries <laughs> is a dish made out of cattle testicles. The organs are often deep fried after being peeled, coated in flour, pepper, and salt, and sometimes pounded flat. This delicacy is most often ser- served as an appetizer. You guys are going to think I'm the weirdest motherfucker on the face of the planet, but that technically actually doesn't sound that bad to me. <laughs> because, oh and only because, listen, we have this thing in Kansas called turkey nuts, and they're fried turkey testicles that you dip in like the zesty sauce, and they're fucking good. I had never had them, and we were at a cookout for Memorial Day last year, and I'm sitting there eating these little fried nuggets, and I'm like, what are these? And I'm sitting there eating them, and the guy from the barbecue is like, they're turkey nuts. I'm like, as in, like, turkey testicles? And he went, yeah. And I'm like, okay, just man. Just all casual, I just, yeah. I just kept fucking eating them. They were really good. It's kind of like well, a see, gizzard. A, well, see, that's the thing. Uh, if, if I try it before, like, I like out here on the East Coast especially, I like Scrapple. Now we know it's scrapple. It's basically what's left over of ev- of. of no, fucking ruin scrapple! I will fucking drive to Philly and stab you with this fucking box cutter. But the thing is, is I know cutter. I know what scrapple is made of. But because I had it before, I knew what it was made of. I'm fine with eating it. I know what a Rocky Mountain oyster is, and I ain't popping nobody's testicle, bowl or otherwise, into my mouth. <laughs> See, you just ruined you don't want no turkey bowl nuts ball? on me. You could have you could have fucking told me they were beer nuts and I would have been fine with it. And the fact that I now know that it's a turkey testicle, I'm never eating at your house, man. Never. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't wait. I don't cook them. <laughs> that's that's a cookout thing. I never like. I've never even heard of them. That's a cookout thing, really. I'm yeah. never coming to Kansas and eating eating at any of your buddies' places. If you say let's go to a barbecue, fuck you. I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> You guys do need to come out to Kansas sometime, though. It's pretty fucking cool out here. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. I'm fine with it. I've been through Kansas. I've wrestled in Kansas. I'm fine with going to Kansas. We need to get your country ass out here. Yeah, yeah we go. No, I wouldn't fit in well out there. <laughs> oh, no, you'd be fine in I, There's no goddamn you'd way. you fit right the no, fuck in here in Maryland. No, Guaranteed. No. No, 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 no. Do you know Maryland's like pseudo redneck land? I would get in my pickup truck and cruise down Main Street blasting some goddamn Alabama or some Leonard Skinner or some shit. Right and I'd get here. three blocks before I got my ass shot. Yeah, no, down here in Maryland, I guarantee you'd fit right in. I don't I man. fucking guarantee you because that's all anyone fucking... I'm the one that looks out of place driving a fucking Ultima. <laughs> I get these looks like, oh, look at this rich bitch driving by because I'm driving like a fucking new Ultima. Like, everyone else drives like Rams, fucking Toyotas... I just, yeah, it's all it's in this fucking area is pickup trucks. Like, and here's me trundling through on my fucking neat, my Ultima, which. And believe it or not, in, in Philly and, and Christina will attest to this. Philly is very well known for blue collar. Oh, which, well, maybe, I, well, maybe. Well, which, also which, which, remember, face, Philadelphia face, is redneck. also the most segregated city in the world for some fucking reason. Like that is the city that, that has like dividing lines between each group. Oh yeah, I'd like if you came down here, I would definitely tell your your redneck ass never go down to North Philly. Don't go or, to the south side or, of the Or don't tracks. go down. Don't go to the Badlands. Don't go to fucking K and A. Well, you go can to, go to no, K and A. Go to K and A. Just <laughs> remember, couple, just remember this piece of advice. I know people didn't follow this advice and they got fucked up because of it. If you go down K and A, if the bitch got teeth, she's a cop. <laughs> 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 Brian went quiet. Huh. <laughs> He's right you ever want to know what a gummy felt like? I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about you guys coming to Kansas, all right? I think that would be a little bit better. Yeah, because uh, cow, cow tipping is so much more fun than K&A trips as guests to gender. Cow and... tipping isn't wait, as fun. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You cow have tipping? fucking cows. You yeah. have cows. Yeah, cow tipping isn't as Fuck fun yeah. as... Fuck yeah, shrooms! Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, cow tipping isn't as fun as just shooting 22s at the moon off the top of a green elevator. That's fun, believe it or not. Which I, believe I really it. hope my boss isn't fucking watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I just have it. Can we edit that out? 
No. <laughs> wow, that was stereo. Holy shit. <laughs> Nothing gets edited out. Nothing. Oh my god. Again, this is after hours. This is this is our informal show. Everything goes. This no, is what is. happens. Seriously, this is not even we're not even making this bullshit up. This is this how is it goes. Us. This is this is let me let me set it up for you. When we record a show, we, 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 give, we give like an hour performance, two hours, depending on the show, whatever the case may be. When the show is done, we sit here and bullshit for another like two, three hours yeah. in basically the exact same way we're talking right now. Yeah. And the idea was, well, why don't we just record that and give it to the people? Because <laughs> sometimes that's more entertaining than the show we just recorded. It sometimes. usually is. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. So. That's what after hours is. So there, there, there's no script. We're not, we're not following any like timing or beats or anything like that. This is how we talk to each other, usually. Yeah. I mean, all honestly, when I record my show, and we'll say this for the record, I record my show. I use my tablet as a teleprompter, so I write my script beforehand. Nine times out of ten. Sometimes, like when I did my live game fillets and stuff like that, I don't obviously because I can't script those. But a lot of times, I'll write a script beforehand. My tablet. Is actually sitting right here right now. There, yep. it's right there, not doing shit. It was actually charging and just updated. But yeah, there's my fucking tablet. Well, see what I record. I usually, <laughs> I, I, I usually just, just do see my out. pants anyway. I, I, well, tried, yeah, I tried doing a script I, one time for the Canon Library, and it just it didn't seem natural to me. I was sitting there trying to read this thing, and instead of, and then I tried doing just show notes, and I was like, nah. So I figured if I was just going to be, you know, real candid talking about Star Wars canon. I was just going to hit the record button and see what comes out. And it's kind of come, I don't want to say it's come more natural over the last couple years, but it's gotten to where uh, I hit the record button. I just, I just talk Star Wars and that's it. And that's what you guys, I, like I tried for a while to do jump edits to get rid of, you know, like word fillers like um and shit. But I just got to the point where I just said, fuck it. I'm just, whatever I comes out is what's uploading. And so far, I guess it's been working. People have been pretty happy with what I've been doing, so. I mean, as far oh as, my like, God. it all depends on what I have going on on Chris, my show. it better not have to eat anything with your goddamn petition. It does. Or your dick. Mike Quinn loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I shit Are you, you not. fucking kidding me? I shit you not. I wish, I wish my screen wouldn't fucking blast out oh, like I'm that. checking this out right now. <laughs> Mike Quinn loved. <laughs> No, wait, wait, back it up, back it up, back it out. There it goes. You are fucking kidding me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Star Wars approved. <laughs> up to three votes so far. God. Mm. Which means Mike Quinn's one of them. <laughs> you got Mike. Quinn, you got nine numb himself <laughs> to, 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 to endorse your fucking petition. That's fucking lovely. And mine had to do with Star Wars, and he didn't. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> Mr. Quinn, that's the bullshit. A movie he was in, mind you. Yeah, no it's, shit. I'm defending a fucking movie you're in, and you go and like his petition more than you do mine. That's some fucked up shit. Hey, you know what? In his defense, he's probably still mad at the fact that they didn't promote him. I still say a petition for Nine Numb to become Admiral Nine Numb. Hey, did you see uh, somebody made a T-shirt of Nine Numb and it says Snoke is a bitch on it? Yep. And it was a quote from Nine Numb. I want that shirt so bad. <laughs> That'd be so cool to have. <laughs> Snoke is Nine a bitch. Nine up approved. Uh, Nine up approved. <laughs> oh my god. Well, on that note, I need a drink. Because my throat's gone dry from all this fucking laughing. I think we all need a fucking drink. I don't have... Oh no, I do have... Ooh. Here, here. I, got, here I got something for you. Whiskey! What? No. She's gone. <laughs> Peach tea. Peach tea? Oh no 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 no! I've seen I've seen uh, Batman v Superman. I know what that is. <laughs> Granny's peach tea. <laughs> I know a, what that is. No. There's a bomb. No. Uh, 
for those of you who are watching that don't know, we are kind of, I guess you could say friends with Mike Quinn. Uh, we did an interview with him for the two-year anniversary show for the Star Wars Canon Library. Chris and I did, and Christina recorded it. Uh, and we talked for like, what, an hour? Give or take, yeah. Something like that. And, and we've stayed in contact with him. And he's very, very down-to-earth guy. Very cool to talk to. Very fun to talk to. Uh, but, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so go check, go check that out. And, and make sure you sign my petition because Mike Quinn did. Sign my petition first. <laughs> sign both. Sign both. Sign, sign my, both. Sign mine first. Prove that people who hate The Last Jedi are just like people who hate pineapple pizza. They're Y'all wrong. you talking shit. <sighs> what? <laughs> Wouldn't shit you. You're my favorite turd. There we go. He has returned. Now it's my turn to go get a uh, drink so you guys can talk and about now me. Now we're going to get drunk, Christina. <laughs> Oh, don't tempt me. That may be an after-hours yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. But hey, I'm actually surprised none of us are actually are drinking. For, well, I mean, we aren't. I, never mind. Take that back. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks for the warning. Is that a threat or a promise? I don't fucking know. I, I, I just what the fuck? I can't believe he made a fucking petition. <laughs> About goddamn pineapple on pizza. I'm about to make a goddamn petition to get his petition taken down. Yeah, but Fuck the sad with thing me. is now you're going against Mike Quinn. <sighs> That's okay. He didn't like my petition anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm Chris. I'm going to start a petition to have your petition taken down. I'm going to have a petition to have your petition that had for his petition taken down. What did I hear that I I'm going to have a petition to take down Christina's petition about taking my petition down about taking your petition down. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck the with never me. End, the never-ending chain of petitions. Hey, whose petition has a video? Whose does it? I can make a video. But you I didn't. can still edit. But you didn't. I didn't because we didn't. were recording. No, because you don't care about your topic as much as I care about mine. I can record a video for mine hey, if I, I need pushed, it, though. I pushed back You're in the recording. middle of fucking recording. You want I me to do pushed, a video? I'll do a video right now. I pushed recording back for mine. Yeah, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. It's like hey, fucking corralling kittens. Hey, completely off topic here. <laughs> I thought this whole show was off topic. Well, I was about off to topic what... of the off topics. Do you guys want to... Chris, do you want to play Battlefront after this? Absolutely. Do. I'm sorry. Did you get your? Oh, did sorry. you get your? Uh, did you get your? Did you get your PlayStation Plus back? I I don't get paid till Friday. Oh, okay. We're so Battlefront Two. It is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm totally down. Well, it's already nine. Talking about. I'm at, so. you, 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 let's you talk get for all like excited. ten or fifteen more minutes, and then let's go play Battlefront. Uh, you 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 get all excited, but I don't know how many times I see you on fucking PlayStation. I'm like. Send you a message or, or a party invite. Hey, hey Battlefront. For some you reason, me. my invites don't show me a notification thing on my screen when they pop up. I don't see them until like two hours after the fact when I close whatever game or movie or video I'm watching. And up in the corner, it's got this little scroll bar that says, Chris Dolly had sent you an invite, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, why didn't it fucking pop up? Like, it doesn't show me. It shows me the notification when my fucking controller dies. It goes out of its goddamn way to show me that one. Well, but you know, you know it, how you fix show that me problem. The fucking, you know how you fix that problem, don't you? How? Plug your fucking phone in once in a while, and you get a message from me saying, "Hey, I sent you an invite. Hey, you want to play?" Hey, hey you want to know something? Like seriously, you want to know fucking something? This phone fucking sucks. <laughs> seriously, I can take is this. On, is it an iPhone or an Android? It's an Android. I can take this. No, phone. sad. I can take this phone. Oh, well, it's, shut it's up. also it's also four years old, five years old. Um, but I can take it off the charger at one hundred percent battery. Go take a piss, come back, and it's already flashing low. Oh, so your battery's just shot. Then. My battery, but it's got a built-in battery. Ba it's, no, oh. it's a built-in battery. So that sucks. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Cow balls. So no Amazon for you to order a new battery. No, I got to get a new phone. What kind of phone is it? Uh, HTC One. Oh, that's why HTC. Don't ever was, buy HTC. I should, actually, I could have probably used. I got my finally. I finally, Friday got my Christmas bonus. Believe it or fucking not. Uh, been Wait a minute, it's almost February. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, we've been <laughs> wondering where the fuck they were. But anyway, uh, I finally got my Christmas bonus, and it was twice what I thought it was going to be. And uh, Interest. I, what? She said interesting. Oh, yeah. No, she said interest for being late. Oh, oh well, probably, actually. it was. I mean, 
uh, like I'm this isn't me bragging or anything, but in order for you guys to know, like I it's it was like fourteen hundred dollars, right? And uh, not to brag or anything. No, I'm I'm not. But um, <laughs> that was the day they sent me home sick because I barely I didn't have my voice. <laughs> and my CEO, the CEO of the company I work for, came around to give us our bonuses, and while he was there, I'm trying to go. And, like, I can't fucking talk to him. And so my boss takes him in the back and I guess told him, look, hey, he's sick. He needs to go to the doctor. So they sent me to the doctor. They sent me home at noon and I went to the doctor that evening. But me and Kirsty, Kirsty was like, hey, did you get your bonus? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, cool. How much was it? And I told her. And then I was like, you want to go to Walmart? So we go to Walmart and we bought a new fucking TV just because we've needed one for a while. Like I had this like 42 inch piece of crap from 2011 that weighs like 80 pounds. You can't get a wall mount that holds 80 pounds. You can't fucking do it. So we went and bought this 55 inch that weighs 26 pounds and the wall mount and everything. So I put that up feeling like crap and I actually got a new TV. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of bragging about that. I got a new you TV. You are bragging. But now I'll I got, say one thing. But I haven't played Battlefront on it yet. So when we play Battlefront so tonight, it'll be the first time it's been on Battlefront. So wait, wait. So what you're telling me is uh, I can expect a birthday present in the mail. Don't say you ain't got the money, motherfucker. I know I, you do. I, actually, Chris, <laughs> Chris, buddy, old pal, um, the money for your snowball mic kind of went to Wounded Warriors for your birthday. Which is, by the way, that we, we're joking about petitions and everything else. Look, my birthday's Monday, so we have a couple more days before that happens. I do have a petition out there where on, on Facebook, Christopher Michael Stolle, you guys can find me on there. Uh, all I really want for my birthday is donate to the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, if you do it through my page, they send it in my name to, to the Wounded Warrior Project in honor of me turning 21 again for the 20th time. Um, <clears throat> he's old, like really <laughs> old. <laughs> but seriously, if anybody wants to do something for my birthday, that that would be the greatest show and appreciation. But you know, a moment of reality here, and, and jokes aside, I can't think of a better cause and and uh, a better representation uh, for me of of my birthday than to give back to people who have given so much for us. So, yeah. Yeah. please don't please donate to that. Yeah, I guess I'll return to Geritol and donate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more useful than the Geritol. Although I do, dep- I do, I do appreciate the, the the Pens diapers. I'm wearing one right now, which is why I haven't gone to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we sell bulk packs of those at work. <laughs> well, we know I need bulk, and you can get the magic button. All you have to do is hit the button, and it automatically will send you more. Crap! I'm running low. Beep. Was well, it like a life alert? <laughs> It kind of is. Crap, it kind of is. It's for stuff you order regularly. You just hit the button and it automatically connects to your Wi Fi. Oh, you just hit a button and it automatically sends you stuff. Like, if you, it's like, say if you used Tide. Oh, you had to fucking go there. <laughs> I did. If you used Tide Pods and your kid just ate all your Tide Pods. <laughs> <laughs> so, all you gotta do is hit the button. And then you hit the button and get more Tide Pods. Make sure the little bastard finishes his job he didn't do first time. Make sure to eat your dessert or you don't get the toy. What the fuck? Why are they green and blue? Just shut up and eat it. I thought they were blue and orange. No, they changed them. Oh, they have different flavors? Awesome. (laughs) Hey, you know what? Since we're on this topic of conversation, Brian was too sick to be able to join us on It Had to Be Said. I want to kind of get his opinion. I think I brought it up. Yes, I kind of want to get his opinion on this. Brian, here's your chance. No, no, before before we start, I will say this. Brian, when we were talking about doing this episode, I was the one who actually proposed the episode to Chris. And Brian was so fucking excited about doing this episode that he was like a kid in a fucking Star Wars <laughs> store. Like, oh, 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 I want to do this. I got so much shit to unleash. Ah! And then he got fucking sick. Oh, so now yeah, it's your moment to shine. That's it. You get you get the makeup day. Go ahead. Man. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers! Like, I, I've got a laundry. I got a Tide Pod challenge for you. How about you do your own fucking laundry, you goddamn millennials? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, seriously? When the fuck did washing your mouth out with soap become a fucking sport? Like, what in the actual 
fuck is wrong with each and every one of you little sons of bitches out there? You think it's just for the fucking likes? Guess what? YouTube says you're a piece of shit because they're banning your videos. That's saying <laughs> something. When YouTube is banning your fucking videos, you done fucked up, A.A. Ron. What the fuck are you even thinking? Like, who the fuck comes up with this shit? Like, seriously, Tide Pods? Really? 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 Like, I never even seen a Tide Pod until, like, New Year's. I never even heard of them. Because, like, my grandma had something to go in her dishwasher. I guess they weren't Tide Pods. But it was the same kind of thing. And it was, like, blue, purple, and green. And I'm looking at it like, do I do I just put this in here? Like, that's all I do? I don't have to... Oh, all right, whatever. Toss it in there. Close the fucking door. Dish is done. Like, <laughs> the <is> only <laughs> possible way I could think of a Tide Pod helping you when you eat it is to detox all the stupid shit in your fucking head that makes you think that it's socially fucking acceptable. To, like, your mother was like, oh, you watch your language, you're going to wash your mouth out with soap. Hold my beer. Watch this shit. Like, <laughs> really? What the fuck, man? Oh, hold my beer. <laughs> I can't fucking... Like... <sighs> I just I'm pictured, sorry, that's I just pictured a toddler in diapers like hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like seriously, like what what's next? Like how do you hit rock bottom from there? Like that's that's got to be rock bottom, right? No. No, I mean, no the police watch the video, Dallas. Yeah. Oh shit, I, maybe I shouldn't give people ideas. No. Yeah, Chris, Christina let me know Christina let me know one that was actually worse and it was the blue whale challenge. Oh, the one where you got to kill somebody or some shit, and then you no, kill yourself. No, the blue at the whale end of it? challenge was a lot. Was an international issue, mostly in Russia last year. That was there was a taskmaster. Like once you accepted a challenge, there was a taskmaster who give you a series of tasks. It would start out harmless, and you're like wake up four o'clock in the morning or some stupid shit like that, and it would build up to self mutilation and eventually for you to commit suicide. Well, you know want to know something? Uh, look. I'm all look. Look, I'm going to sound like an asshole saying this. I'm all for suicide awareness. If you've got a problem, go get help. But if you are yes, dumb I'm enough, suicide awareness number, please. Yeah, the suicide if, prevention if, line. Yeah. If you are fucking deluded, stupid enough to partake in a challenge like that, you deserve to fucking off yourself. That is natural fucking selection. I don't feel sorry for you at all. I don't know. It just the stuff I, like this still makes me re reaffirm that we should just take the warning labels off of everything and let the problem solve itself. I and this year's Darwin Award that. goes to. You want to know why toasters come with a warning label to say "Don't use around bathtubs"? It's because some motherfucker decided he was gonna take a bath and make his fucking toast at the same goddamn time to save time to get to work ten minutes I, earlier. I we got something that better. Turned out. I got one better for you, Brian, and you're going to fucking lose it on this one. It, well, is it a warning label? Yes. Oh, no. Let, lay it on me. So I used to work for a landscaping company, and they would usually buy still chainsaws. Uh, but the one guy liked Husqvarna, so we would get a couple Husqvarna saws in. And the one saw, no shit, I actually got it. We got a brand new in the box. It fucking was printed on this industrial Husqvarna chainsaw. Except said, do not stop chain with hands or genitals. What? <laughs> yes. Re repeat, please. Do not stop chain with hands or genitals. As in Rocky well, Mountain Oyster. You know what? <laughs> At least the person responsible for that warning label is not reproducing. <laughs> At least we have that. Not much. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Chances are they probably already had. Hey guys, why hold my beer? Watch this. <laughs> that okay, that 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 bitch. How do you think? Dude, I, what the fuck is wrong? Like these is this, is this even considered my generation anymore? Yeah. These yeah. Tide Pod things? Is it even my generation? It still is? Man, that is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> it's teens to early twenties, so yeah, it's still technically your generation. That is so fucking embarrassing for my generation. That's just we are not all fucking like that. Go sign the petition. We are not all fucking like that. <laughs> Remember to sign the pizza one, too. Yeah. Second. But, like, seriously, <laughs> what the fuck? Why? 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 You know what? Just let them fucking do it. 
Get just let weed out the idiots, right? Just do it. That's less people dressing up as vaginas in the streets. That's no. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We 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 really let them let them do it because I mean, if they're doing that, obviously their parents didn't love them enough anyway. If look, if their parents like, they're probably fucking adopted. They're probably you know, my just mother was crying hard, out my mother, for fucking. My mother was hard as shit, you know. And I, I question whether she loved me many times growing up, but uh, she she at least taught me not to put fucking laundry detergent in my mouth. My mother if your parents did it for didn't me. teach it, if your if your parents didn't teach you not to put laundry detergent in your mouth, chances are they really didn't want you. You know, seriously, <laughs> I keep I keep coming back to. I probably, you know how this probably fucking started, right? Some kid probably popped off and said the fucking c word in front of his mother. And she's yeah. like, I'm going to wash your fucking mouth out with soap. He's like, not if I do it first. <laughs> no, chances are they probably, they probably turned around in a modern household and said, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap. All they got is a Tide Pod, so stick this in your mouth. <laughs> Suck on this for a minute. <laughs> okay, I take that back. Oh, fuck. I you don't. Can't, fuck you. Swallow you can't it. can't take it back. <laughs> okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh, boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Hey, uh, Chris, we've been going for about an hour. Uh, okay. I really want to play Battlefront. <laughs> all right, well, unfortunately, like all good things, it must come to an end. And unfortunately, in, tip, in Bri typical Brian case, uh, he's done before I am. <laughs> <laughs> Probably explains why I'm not a father yet. <laughs> At least that I know of. <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh we do intend to do more of these they're going to be sporadic because you know it's after hours it's when we feel like just sitting down and bullshitting uh so make sure you're checking out that trans geek girl star wars canon library uh breaking the fourth wall and all the uh, all the other great shows on realm of the Myths entertainment and press a gaming which uh probably will get a bit video tonight from uh battlefront 2 Fuck, oh. Fuck guys, yeah. Guys, where can they find you if they want to talk to you? Go ahead, Christina. Okay. Um, you can find me on my channel on YouTube, That Trans Geek Girl. You can also find me on Facebook under Christina Tally, which is at That Trans Geek Girl. And also you can find me on Twitter as Trans underscore Vixen. Ryan? Uh, you guys can find me at the Star Wars Canon Library. Uh, it's a channel I started, Keeping Up on Star Wars Comics. Make sure to tune in next week. Chris and I are going to be doing Journal of the Jedi, and we're going to be talking about all of these wonderful comics that I have to get caught up on. Uh, make sure to tune in for that. We're, we're just going to talk some comics. That's all Journal of the Jedi is. Make sure to check out the website. It is www.starwarscanonlibrary.com and the Facebook page, which uh, this weekend, Saturday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, Q and A, and for every person that asks a question, you got entered for a contest. I'm gonna pick one viewer at random to win a Marvel's Star Wars issue number one loot crate variant cover. So uh, mint, still gem mint condition, bagged and boarded, and that will be yours. So make sure to tune wait, in for what, that. Wait, 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 wait. What's the what's the giveaway? Because I already said I'm going. Hang on, I'll just show you what it fuck it is. You can't show me, asshole. Your camera's off. Oh fuck, it is off. But I can show everybody else. <laughs> This right here. It is a loot crate variant cover of Star Wars issue number one, bagged and boarded, gem mint condition. This sucker is gorgeous. So that sure to be worth mine. something. I'm so, going. So, yep. Yeah, uh, well, mm -hmm, we'll see. Maybe people uh, from Over the Mist are excluded from the contest. You don't know. Oh, I won't show up then. How's I don't, that? I'm just saying, I don't know yet. I don't want it to look like I'm playing favorites. Look, if, if, I'm, if I'm excluded for being... Do you ever find my freaking Terra? Did you ever send me the damn Harrow thing you told me you promised to send me like a fucking six months ago? I have my Harrow. Actually, you know what else we found? I found a Jaina Solo. Nice. I found a Jaina Solo. Yep. Kirsty actually found it. She won she wanted to buy it. But no, you just remember you're supposed to find me the black figure Harrow. Remember the, remember I was supposed to not fucking care. Oh, oh wow. damn. Yeah, I'm still looking for one. <laughs> they've got yeah, a bunch finally... of they've got a bunch at walmart right now i want to get and they got snoke the praetorian guard rose uh they've got uh several of them that I chris's wanna, favorite like, character uh, rose oh rose. rose fuck oh anyway if, uh, if ever there was a chance to make <laughs> if ever there was a chance